right, so as promised, we are going to do a small water change on our uh, newly set up saltwater aquarium. I have my siphon here and a couple of buckets that are going to help me do that. I'm just going to be removing about 10% or less of water uh, for a 29 gallon aquarium that's about 2.9 gallons, so I'm going to round it off to three. So um, I'm just going to Go ahead and siphon out my water. I'm not going to be touching the substrate or moving anything else around the aquarium. I'm just going to be removing water. Again, this is just to remove some of that harmful ammonia that's been building up during the cycle uh, and allowing the bacteria to form even faster. So uh, we're going to introduce our hose into our bucket and then we are going to shake. I siphon a little bit until it creates that nice little suction and we're just going to leave it in here while our bucket fills. So, we got our three gallons removed. I'm gonna mix me, myself up some fresh salt water. Uh, you'll see that up next. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add that back into our aquarium. Stay tuned. All right, so we're ready to mix our water. I added three gallons into my bucket. My water conditioner says, and this is just tap water right now, my water conditioner says that I need to add 10 drops for every gallon I add. So three times 10 is 30. So let's go ahead and add those 30 drops. I'll let you count them off in your own heads. So Did I get them right? Rewind and count and make sure that I got them right. I think I got them right. All right, so we wanna make sure that we mix in our water conditioner. All right, so now that we have the water conditioner all mixed into our water, we're ready to add the salt. So uh, it, with our instant ocean salt, it lets us, the instructions let us know that we need to add a half a cup for every gallon of water that we have available to mix. So again, we need to add three half cup measures into the salt water. While we do that, we are going to continue to stir. As you can see, I am basically using the net that my kit brought with. And I'm making sure my salt measurements are totally flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt. Now, by mixing in just this half cup of salt, of salt per every gallon, I'm gonna be mixing the water to 1.021 specific gravity. I did a little bit of research and my clownfish actually is like 1.023. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt and that's because I have done my research and the fish that I am going to be keeping in my aquarium prefer a different type of habitat. So my Ocelaris clownfish will be happier if I just add maybe a smidge more and make sure that I give them the right kind of salinity that they like. So I'm gonna keep on working with my salt I'm gonna to have to stir this for the next maybe 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not gonna bore you with it. We'll be back once we're ready to measure. Okay, so 
I believe that we got that nice and mixed up. I'm not seeing any salt at the bottom of my bucket, so that's good. Now, to make sure that I have the right salinity in my water, I am going to go ahead and use my Instant Ocean um, Hydrometer to measure the specific gravity. Now, the specific gravity is shown in the inside part of the wheel. Uh, the salt in parts per thousand is shown on the outside of the wheel. So we're shooting somewhere in between 30 and 32 for the total aquarium. But since the aquarium, I set it up with the 1.021 specific gravity measurements, um, it's actually at that salinity right now. So I want to make it a little bit more saltier. So I'm gonna try for maybe a 1.024, 1.025, so that I can slowly bring that salinity back up to uh, up finally to where I want it to be with for my clownfish. So let's go ahead, we're gonna grab by the holder, we are going to dip the hydrometer into our water. It will start chugging water happily. And once the chamber inside the hydrometer is filled, we can go ahead and pull it out. Now, we wanna watch for those air bubbles that will form on our needle because they will give us false readings. An air bubble will float and will pull you, your needle up, showing a, a salinity that's higher than what you really have. So you wanna tap. Your hydrometer against the side of your bucket, firmly, not so that you break it, but enough so that those water bubbles get dislodged from your needle. You wanna have it even and I am at, a, at about 1.024 salinity so I am specifically at the gravity that I want ha ha yes the specific gravity that I want is in my in my water bucket right now so I'm just gonna dump this right back in because I had already rinsed this out and it was ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and add our water into the into the aquarium. I'm pretty sure you've seen somebody pour water into an aquarium, so I won't bore you with that part. We'll be back once we get the aquarium uh, rocks so that we can show you that aquascaping we're gonna do. And afterwards, we'll see where we go. Hopefully we'll have a nice cycled aquarium so that we can add some beautiful, beautiful crawfish to it. That's all. See you next time, guys.